Attorney General Stingham impacted countless North Dakotans during his 45 years working for the state. Reporter Matty Beer Temple spoke with those who say simply he was a good guy whose legacy has left the state safer. Bismarck Police Chief Dave Dreyevich says Attorney General Wayne Stengem was liked by everyone. He's just a plain old good guy. Dreyevich says as North Dakota's top law enforcement officer, Stengem supported the department's opposition to a change in civil asset forfeiture laws in 2019. Uh, you could tell when he uh, provided testimony at the Judiciary Committees for both the House and the Senate, people really paid attention to what he had to say. and uh, It was unique to watch that just that kind of a uh, uh, great reputation that he had. The prescription drug take-back program also started under Stengem's watch in 2009. North Dakota is the only state in the nation with the free year-round drug disposal program at local law enforcement agencies. Stengem also started the state's human trafficking task force in 2015. Since then, it's helped 600 individuals from North Dakota. Task Force Director Emily Schwartz says losing Stengem is like a light going out. AG Stengem has meant so much in anti-trafficking work in North Dakota. He has just been a tireless supporter. Um, he has always had his door open for any concerns that we've needed, for any assistance that we've needed. U.S. Senator Kevin Kramer knew Stengem back in the 80s when he was a state Senate page, and Stengem was a state senator. He says of his many legacies left was his support of open records laws and transparency in government. He made sure that the public was... Um, you know, had clear view of what was going on in their government. And uh, without a question, that's one of his greatest legacies. Stengem was the state's longest serving attorney general, holding the position for 21 years. Before that, he spent 24 years as a state lawmaker. Stengem died Friday at 68. In Bismarck for KX News, Maddie Beer Temple. Stengem's funeral is happening tomorrow at the Bismarck Event Center starting at 11 a.m. The procession will move from the Bismarck Funeral Home to the Bismarck Event Center via State Street, Boulevard Avenue, the North Dakota Capitol Circle, and 7th Street. This will disrupt traffic between 10 and 11 a.m., and law enforcement officers will be shutting down numerous intersections along the route at the time. The exit 159 eastbound off-ramp will be closed during this time as well. KX News will be there and carry the event live for those of you who cannot be there in person.